Fun. Wait, oh, so Sneeko, no, 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 wait, this is so easy. So then Sneeko, so if God tells you that you can kids like he did with uh, Muhammad or whatever, you think that's okay then? That you would change no, your no, mind on that tomorrow? That's not what happened. No, 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 I'm asking you, if God tells you, Sneeko, I think that kids is okay, then you would change your mind on it tomorrow. There has to be a justification for everything. Oh, like, hold on. Like God has God to justify himself? God has yeah. to justify it? If you're talking about the need for a justification, then that means something's not good because God says it. It's only good because he's giving you whatever the justification is. What do you think the age of consent should be, Sneeko? Yeah, uh, this is not an important conversation. No, it's a super important. You don't think kids are not as an important conversation? What do you think the age of consent should be? If you want to be consistent, you don't think anything updates, just tell us what you think it should be. I think it should be past age or at a developed age. Though. At a develop. What is a developed age? Well, if you had to set a law age. for, what would you set it? What would you set it about? It's a, it's a developed age, long and not through most states and not through most countries across the world. Do you, do you see why this is like a weird take to have though? Like what? You, like I I don't think you're coming at this from a place of you wanting to fuck a 15 year old, are you? Like it, to go back to that question is 12. What? For you, do you think 12 is too young in general? I, I feel like that should be an easy answer. 12 is too young in general, correct? Okay. Because, yes. And I don't but think you're I wanted, I wanted to find, but you, what you're saying, your definition of adult is not even the, the actual definition. Do you know what the definition of child is? Like anybody watching this can Google it. You can Google it too. The definition of child is somebody who has not reached puberty yet. That's the definition. 100 year old woman or a sneaker if you marry with your tank top 100 year old woman and you know and you, and you get involved with her intimately she might die i mean she or she might have some kind of a health problem so we would say that well if you if you were to be intimate with a 14 year old or you know 13 year old who's got huge hips and huge breasts and huge body i mean quite frankly we would say uh, it's not it's not gonna have the same effect medically i mean we don't make the argument but on, in these countries where we live in now one is legal and one is both are one is illegal so in other words, you can't marry a 100-year-old woman, but you can marry that, that girl that's, you know, you can't, so you're a pedophile if you, if you go for the girl that's got the hips. And once again, pedophilia is very relative, because if you go to uh, Russia, the age of consent is 14. But in England, it's 16. And part of America, is 18. And other parts of America, is 18. And other parts of the world, is 21. So one man's pedophile is another man's good citizen, a liberal actor. So the point of who sets the age is another issue, because it's, it's very arbitrary at this point. But we're not saying, therefore, we should go back to a, a time where the age is not set. We're not saying any of that stuff. We're just saying that to use this as an argument against the veracity of the truthfulness of the religion of Islam is, um, is uh, unsatisfactory, I would say. What do you think about that? I know I talked about the debate between Sneeko and Moist for almost three days now, or two days, whatever you want to call it. And of course, I was very critical of Moist and was also fair to some of the things that maybe he just wasn't prepared for. And obviously it was right there. Now, while I was doing so, of course, I'm not going to ignore the fact that, well, Sneeko, you said a lot of weird stuff and not just only on this debate, but just in general with Sneak, uh, sorry, with Destiny and your I guess beliefs if you will you want to call it that and what they follow again these are just what i've seen and what i've heard but the question still remains sneeko what is the age appropriate to marry somebody better yet what is the age appropriate to date them and if you have to go almost between 30 seconds to a minute to give me an answer then that is the issue that I have with you. Now, I'm not going to pretend I don't know who this person is, but I've seen him a couple of times, either whether it's on Twitter, TikTok, or on YouTube, or Moist Critical, and ever so forth when they're talking about this individual. And though I don't watch fully his entire content, except that one time he had the debate on his channel, I just decided to watch it, and boy, I get it that you are fully prepared for a debate. You can talk alive and, and say what you will, and that's great. But when you're talking about this, you flip-flop like crazy, brother. And the only reason why I have such an issue with you on that is, well, I realized that there was a time that you had a, I think, Creator Kit interview public, uh, like in a group chat, everyone was participating hearing out what your people were trying to talk about and though i did not record that event unfortunately that day i was actually there listening to the majority of it while people you know was making the assumption which i think that would that is the case right that there were promised opportunities to be part of the creator kit or just learn about how to make money and 
you know, networking, which that's all cool and gravy. But the issue that I had in specific was the fact that, well, the majority of the people that were joining the calls were safe to say 16 and teenage years. Now, you could probably correct me for that, but most of the people that were there were talking over each other or wondering where you were at because you weren't even in the live chat. Your team was, which I get it. You're busy. You're probably making your own. You're, I think you were live that day, but the point still remains that the majority of your fan base is mostly teenagers and people in their 20s. And I'll probably say this too. Maybe other people that are a little bit more older who have a such uh, issue with their mental health, picking up women, or financial problems, and they just watch your content. Now, that's where I have the issue with you in specific, because these are the type of people who watch you on a day-to-day -day basis, who will make their conclusion of, well, he's saying in a way, you might not say directly that it's okay to take in part sexual activities or marry somebody below the age, which I know that in other, you know, just here in the U.S., there's only 10 states that say you can date somebody if they're 18, well, you know, if you're older, right? That's okay because it's 18 and so forth now that they're an adult, right? But other states, they're not. And other countries are even lower than that. And again, we're not in those places. We're in the U.S. You're in the U.S. And I get it. You, you're you global. You go around. That's cool. But the majority of people that watch you are also from the U.S. Who might come with the impression it's okay to talk to someone below the appropriate age. Even pass below it, too, from other states. Now, I think if you're going to come into your channel you need to do more research and on top of that uh since you're always talking about how you interact with your group do you probably ask your groups what they're interested into because they probably tell you the things that you're saying and that that's what they're interested to that's a red flag and that i will say that you're building people to be attracted to minors and though i'm not saying it directly that you are pushing that agenda but people will get the impression regardless because it's social media you're going to be interested into creators maybe what they have to say and sneeko you have a big fan base regardless if you're the platform off of here on youtube which by the way i will post this on rumble too so my irrelevant ass will probably still ask you the same question and we'll upload this video so you would have to answer eventually someday and if not Someone will have to ask you until you finally give a straightforward answer. And I understand that you are, I think, Muslim or following in the Muslim beliefs. And though I don't or knowledgeable of what that fully entails and the morals and everything else. I get it that that's something that is in your beliefs, but you also have to understand many people around the world do not follow being part Muslim. They follow other things, Christianity, Catholicism. Maybe they just don't have a belief or agnostic, you name it. Other people are going to challenge you on this. And if you're dying on the hill that you really want to die on so desperately, I would really, really look into doing more research. So before you say it's all it's a okay on the other states but you yourself are saying you wouldn't date somebody below you would say 18 at best whatever right so then why not stick the message and keep it that way instead of saying you know what me personally right i wouldn't date anything 21 and up even though i'm, I'm a 33 year old man but if it happens i'm not saying anything you're basically essentially saying you are giving the green light without even saying it you're just throwing it around where people are making their own conclusion and again you have a big platform brother you even though you're not here on youtube you do have it on rumble think about it like it's not that it's it's not that hard for you to just really just slow down think about it and just check yourself 
people watch you. You're viral everywhere on Twitter, on TikTok, and even on YouTube. And you're not even on this platform, but you're still someone that people just know who you are. And I would say, if you, you don't have to change everything, but if you have to talk about this one in specific, I would just say simply, you know what? With the age appropriate, it's the safe net to say 18 and above. And if you're older, just go with 21 and up. Like, you know, as weird as it is, Leonardo DiCaprio's dating someone in their 21s and uh, 21 and dumps them on 24, right? It's weird, but that's a thing, and they're adults. That's fine. But if you're saying 18 and below, now there's an issue. Now, Sneeko, where do I want to end off with this? Do I think you deserve to be the platform? Well, you already are on YouTube, so that doesn't really matter. But Rumble-wise, no. You have the freedom to say what you will. Even something as ridiculous like that, you still do it. But realize, while you're still doing it, you're also spreading a message for other people younger than you that will probably eventually take advantage of people that are young. So, next time, really think about what you're saying. Because this is something you don't want to play with. Just think about it.